Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Got a little bit of a random one here. I'm going to play with Rift Breaker Prologue. Apparently this has been out for a little while now, this Prologue mission. But um, I've only just recently found out about it. So I want to give it a little bit of a tip. It's quite interesting. It's a bit of a, a base building strategy Great type game. Successful. Now I have had a tiny little play off camera. Sensors online. Um, Weapons activated. We're ready to go. You can't save your progress or anything. So I thought I'd start a new game. Please report. And I record a few Houston, guys to watch. Houston, this is Ashley. Reporting rift jump successful. So what's Ashley Roger saying? Roger that. Here? Begin field base setup. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Okay, so we're going to start building the base. To build an HQ. So let's just let's have a look at what our guys got here. Set up our base so, on our equipped. left click, it's and our left hand, time before the native got this sword. And on our right click, you see we've got a gun. We've got a nice little laser pointer showing where we're aiming. We're now I have got different selections of stuff, so pressing Q will change the weapons on the left side. Pressing E changes them on the right side. So, it says we've got to gather some carbonium. So let's go find some. We've located a carbonium Here we go. Deposit. This is carbonium. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. Oh, cool. I like the fact that you can just mine this straight from the ground. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally. Let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. HQ construction in progress. There we go. Let's grab a little more whilst that's building. This part of the simulation. Captain Novak, let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. You won't actually click then. If you we know. need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium oh, yeah. factory okay. to do Good. the digging for us. Okay, carbonium factory. Yes, Let's we've got much more interesting things to wheel. do. Let's automate this. Carbonium factory. Cool. Slashing other stuff around us, getting all sorts of little bits of resources for all these plants. Don't know what exactly just yet. Oh, some, some nasties. Honestly, right the blue bugs are friendly and the red ones are not. Wait, oh, I see. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, okay, so it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect energy all buildings within their okay. area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Put, let's put a couple of these mini generators in. And hopefully I'll start powering up that mine. Let's grab a little bit more manually whilst we're building. Cool, so that's powered now. So off. Yeah. It's intermittent though because of the wind turbines. So I hope that start. Oh, God, that's just glowing careful, Ben. Ashley, I'm detecting a lot of movement to the west. We should build up a defensive perimeter around the base. Uh, defensive perimeter. Let's set up some walls and sentinel towers. Focus our defenses okay. on the western direction. They never change the beginning walls. of this exercise. Oh, we can click we and drag the walls. That's what it is. Scientific background. But your combat performance in the previous simulation was far from spectacular. Wow, that's good. Slaughtering oh, indigenous creatures there. was never my area of expertise. Since you've already done this a couple of times, we've introduced some new additions to this course. We'll see what your area of expertise really is. Let's see if we build some more wool. Oh, 
Just go down one more. Start going across. Not enough carbon. Oh, look, got some more carbon in here. Let's grab some of this one. Some more wall. Keep clicking right click to bring up the building menu for some reason. Let's make it a little wider than we need because I imagine I'm looking at some more stuff to build at some point. looks up here like we've maxed out on our energy so the old tutorial lady said something about energy storage things power plant biomass wind generator energy storage okay so we plonk that right next to the wind turbines that can start storing up our energy defenses defenses here Whoa, no, don't want those ones. How do I do that? Uh, so. Try that again. Not enough carbonium. going on the power there. Full again apparently. Now we're empty. Probably that goes from like 20 to 10k. Grab a little bit more of this. Off our wall. Cool, so we've got a fully surrounded perimeter wall now. But we don't have any doors, so we need to craft a way of getting out of here. Okay, so let's stick the door down here so it's away from all of this area. And we'll plonk another one up this end. Get out both ends of the base. So, what's the tutorial asking us to do? We've got to build at least six sentinel towers. Ooh, okay. This thing keeps on getting intermittent energy. So, I wonder if I can build one of those power plants on this deposit carbonium power plant. No. Not enough carbonium. Not enough carbonium. That's ironic. Okay. How much did it say we need? Was it 50? Yeah, 50. We're all good now. Not enough carbon. Okay, so that's a power pump. And then we're going to need to connect that to the rest of our base. Using the um, power connector thingies. Go through the walls. Oh yeah, look, it goes through the walls. I wonder if we connect that to that. Does that keep it all in the same grid? That definitely will, surely. Oh yeah, look at the power flying up now. So I don't know what the deal is with the storage thing yet. Okay, so we've got to build six sentinel towers. Let's start getting on that. These jobbies. 
base of defense tower shoots high speed energy projectiles at a limited rate of fire. But we need more carbonium. I wonder if we can put a mine on this. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to, are we? It's a bit too. Um, not enough space. Oh, there is. Not enough cool. carbonium. Let's get that one down as well. Get these little goodies. Whatever they are. I'm going to need all this for something at some point. Cool, so we've got two carbonium mines going on now. Now, I guess we should probably protect this a little bit. That's enough carbonium. No, but didn't know. It looks like that is not a good placement there. Let's just sort this top wall out. And rebuild. One block higher. Not enough carbonium. Nearly there. Thing. Cool, so that's a nice little self contained power and carbonium plant. So we've got to wait for the carbonium to start rolling in because I think these turrets are 50 carbonium each, so we're going to need quite a bit of this. I'm just going to manually harvest some whilst our mines are doing it as well. I hope we can get this all done a little quicker. Be enough for a little bit, and obviously, whilst we're building all this, our mines are still extracting. So, I'm going to start off with one in each corner here. Need a little bit more to make that last one. There we go. So that's four. We need to build two more. I said we need to build at least six. I think, isn't it? To support any more defensive towers. Okay. You will need to construct additional AI hubs build to expand our hub. defenses. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. Well, AI up hubs to consume more a lot of energy. It uses 20 energy. I think we're okay for energy at the moment. Why can we pump this so it's not going to be way? Why is it red? What have we not got enough of? Oh, it needs a hundred of carbonium. Okay, gonna have to wait a little while then. Although it's coming in. There you go, now we can build it. Not a block there. Keep it nice and neat and tidy. I'll start to build on this. Manually harvest a bit more of this. Turrets haven't got power either, so we're going to have to build some power connectors. That's one for that turret, one for that turret, that one's okay, and that one's okay, that seems to have got power connected from the HQ building. Okay, so we've got our AI cores, we've got carbonium, let's get a couple more turrets in. Since we've built a bit of a rectangle, we should build these here and here. Ashley, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Yep. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. These basic defenses okay, should give so us we've a got bit our six turrets up now. But we should try to surround our entire base with walls and defensive towers. What have we got here? Uh, defensive stuff. What else have we got? That's the portal thing. Wall, cores, gate, heightened wall floor. Interesting. Hey, 
Ah, so yeah, we can't shoot through the wall here. Okay. Cool. So we've got to wait for this attack to come in. 20 seconds. So let's just harvest a bit more carbonium whilst we wait. I think we can get enough of this at the moment. We're ready for them, Mr. Riggs. Remember uh, to use repair kits if our left necessary. Weapons, so we've actually got a weapon. Oh, they come from a different direction. I was expecting. That's not good. Base is under attack. Get the sword back out. Any more hostile creatures in the base's vicinity. Well done, Captain Novak. The purpose of this training exercise is to prepare you for intense combat situations. This simulation is based on our long distance scans of Galatea 37. They may or may not be accurate. You will be alone out there. There will be no communication back home until you can stabilize a rift portal back to Earth. You will have to rely only on your skills and your mecha suit. Mr. Riggs is the only companion that I need. We can handle the unknown. Just let us do our job. Cool. So what's next? What have you got next for us? You're not going to give us anything else? Okay, let's go explore. Oh, here we go. As Find an all way to secure build and expand our base. Fire and you can build more defenses, or go out and clear oh, out and hostile nests. creatures' nests. So that's a nest on the west. We didn't have any time Let's to study the creatures the that are attacking yet. us. The only thing we can do right now is to fight them or strengthen our defenses. Oh, we'll need a steel factory to build more towers. We'll have to find an ore deposit to build one. So yeah, I think it's definitely red bugs are and nasty blue bugs are friendly at the moment. Random resources. Oh, all over bugs. This sword does a great job. Man. I don't know how close I want to get to those guys. They're big and spiky. Oh, they're really big and spiky. Ashley, I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other useful items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building. Storage is full. Storage Build is more full. storage facilities. Okay, yeah, we're full of carbonium. Okay, that's good. I hope we're going to find this ore vein up here soon. Oh, there's one left. Yeah, need a carbonium building. Oh, it's just around here somewhere. This looks like a large deposit of ore. Build a steel factory in this area and power it with a carbonium power plant. Okay, dropping DNA helixes. Whoa. Let's just collect it from the can quick. Okay, okay, mine. Let's move out the way first. Bionium factory. Looks like we've got another one there as well. And we want a carbonium power plant. Power connectors. Okay, Mr. Riggs, we've got steel production. Yeah, we're gonna need to make sure that this is defendable as well. Ashley, I would strongly advise you to place a rift port in this factory. This way, we can quickly get back to this location if it comes under threat. It would also be advised to place additional sentinel towers to defend oh, this rift port. Remember to connect the towers to the power grid. Using energy connectors. Put that there. Uh, 
have to start building some turrets. Can we build turrets? Yeah. How can I do this? That power connector disappeared when I put that rift down portal thing. Okay, let's get some walls going down this end as well, quick. Door, gate, thing. Turrets. Not enough for something for those turrets. More AI cores. Okay, AI cores. Let's build some more AI cores. Uh, what was the storage situation? What's this? Lamp. Solid material storage. Oh yeah. Tab. Select any of the available rift Ooh, portals to that. instantly teleport to that cool. location. Traveling through rifts is almost instant and doesn't consume any resources. Cool. We've also got to build an armory. Is that this? Yes. Oh, cool. That's big. That's going to demolish our... Um, our electrical connectors. Armory construction finished. We can now use it to craft new items. It will also automatically manufacture oh, ammunition for my weapons. Definitely need ammo. Right, place four sentinel towers near the ironium factory. So we're going to go back up here. Plonk down an extra couple of towers. Why is that not got power? Got power. But that one has. Hmm, weird. Alright, let's see if we can get these extra towers put up. I don't really think it what matters what where you point it, so they do seem to pivot. Sentinel towers are ready. They should Power. be able to fend off small groups of attackers. That's cool. I was going to get both of them. What's going on with this? I wonder if we got to build another power unit. Should we build another power unit? I'm detecting hostile creatures heading towards our new mining outpost. They're not going to give us a break, are they? Uh, I imagine that's going to be this one here that's getting attacked. Yeah. I actually hurt my um, gate a bit doing that. Ashley, we've defended the mining base, but I'm sensing another attack heading towards our headquarters. We should return there quickly. The HQ has a permanent rift portal. We can sure rift can. Out to its location Just like that. at any moment. Let's go. So it's saying our power is still down. Which isn't good. Um, should we maybe plonk another wind turbine down? Try and give it a little bit of extra power to the network. I guess we could also try out these solar panels. See what the deal is with them. Oh, they're pretty, pretty dinky. Let's put a couple of them down. Can't have too much power. 
Right, so it's saying defend the headquarters. Oh, here we go. That's not good. Is under attack. Base is under attack. It's getting cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain. Oh, that was definitely a mean old wave of attack there. This rain is harmless to our base, but it decreases yeah. solar panel efficiency until it starts. Right. Oh yeah, look Hostile at that. Hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. First things first, let's sort the uh, hole in our wall out. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Oh, we're going from a little factory. We need to um, do some turrets here as well, then, don't we? See what we can repair. Should we repair some of this? Yep. That's all repaired. Uh, we need some more storage, didn't we? Starting to get a little bit cramped in here. Might have to expand soon. Now let's just see what's going on with our weapons. Are we all full? I'm just looking down here. Yeah, I think we're okay. So let's go and have a look at this nest, see if we can take this nest out. Oh, more carbonium. That's cool. See, nest is up here above me. Yeah, it's up here, isn't it? The rain is over. Base operations returning back to normal. This looks like a hive of some sort. Let's look inside to see if it's occupied. Just trying to save a little bit of the ammo here against the little guys. And now we'll get the guns out. Oh yeah, let's try this out. Flame on. That is the sound of death. Whoops, another one over here. Goodies. That one is trying to get away. I'll uh, get back to the to the nest and see what else is in here to shoot. Crush, kill and destroy. Oh look, it's like a big hide the eggy thing. <laughs> Looks like swords doing more damage than flames are. I can't consider them out. This will decrease the strength of their attacks. Let's gather all the research samples and rare resources that were in this nest. We can study them later and use them to craft better equipment. Collect all the resources that were in this nest. Okay. Down there. No. It's just plant matter. 
pink crystals. Warning. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. So I guess that's that blip on our map up top left there. Let's come back to this armory, see if that just automatically gives us our ammo. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Build more storage. Okay, let's go up here. And we'll build some more storage up here. Build a couple. That should keep us good for a bit. Now let's kind of this other nest. Okay, some bad guys. Yeah. Oh, bad guys, I didn't even notice that. Burn. hidden in those red bushes there. Well, I think we're getting close. We're getting a lot more hostiles here. species of creatures around this nest. We should be careful. God, that's a whole load of them there. Yeah, flame is out. as well. We're getting low on ammo here. Let's take some of these little guys out with the sword first. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, there's resources everywhere. Construct. This environment has been created by combining long distance quantum scans of Galatea 37 and other known planets that share similar properties. Ooh, Gathering all of this data has taken many years, and we were only able to scan a small fraction of the planet. It's enough to know that we can survive there. I can't wait to make the jump. Everything is going to be new there and waiting to be studied and explored. And waiting to eat us. Let's not get dramatic, Mr. Riggs. 
A five meters tall mech suit with mini guns and power blades should be enough to fend off a few hungry creatures. Yeah, they destroyed the nest. Even though there were multiple species of creatures around here, they appeared as if all of them were working together against us. I wonder if that's just a part of the simulation, or if the Galatean creatures are really going to be that smart. That would make studying them much more interesting. And much more dangerous. It looks like we've cleared them out. Let's hope this will give us some time to build up our base. Christ. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Doing good for resources, aren't we? We're full of all sorts. Uh, kind of wrong way, though. Warning! I'm detecting a huge swarm of enemy creatures heading towards our base. It's showing up on my seismic detectors. It's much bigger than anything we've seen before. We don't have much time. We have to set up as many defensive towers as we can. Also remember to build up more walls and lay all the mines that we can. Come the headquarters, yes. Yeah, so we're definitely coming to the headquarters. So let's get some more turrets going. More AI cores, okay. Uh, let's go back up to the top base, plonk them in up here. So we haven't got much space up by the one. Get a few of those AI calls going. Right, whilst we're waiting for the um the calls, shall we do like um a double layer around this base? Got loads of carbonium, so let's use it. I love how simple this building process is. Okay, so now for gates. Okay, so this wall here is just out on its own, not doing anything but lots of things. Let's take this one as well. Some of the back right there. Let's get our other gate in. Right, now I've got some more AI in course. I can sense the hostile swarm moving closer towards our base. This attack is going to be much bigger than anything right. that we've seen before. Get ready for it. We still have some time, Mr. Riggs. We can set up multiple layers of walls around our base and place as many defensive towers as we can. You can also use your drill to excavate additional resources if our factories are producing them too slow. Captain Novak, you're not the only candidate for the mission to Galatia 37. You'd better up those combat statistics if you want to qualify for that jump. We're investing too many resources into this mission just to send a scientist that's going to be eaten by a pack of angry animals. Show us that you can yeah, survive out there. Have power. Yes, sir. Just sort that out. The wind the is picking up speed. The other scene. Okay, this one over here needs doing. The wind is much stronger than usual. Well, that's good. Let's try and take advantage of that. Okay, maybe not. I'm sure we can get... Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, look at the power going up. It's the wind. Awesome. Okay for power at the moment. Don't know how long that's going to last. Oh, what's this? Got a rogue rift pool. 
Oh, is there anything else we can build in here? This is carbonium, iron, um, storage, turret, platform. We can build another platform. Is that going to ruin the power thing? Find out soon. Still got a little bit of carbonium, so let's just make more woods. The wind is calming down. This is it, Mr. Riggs. Ready your guns. Let's show them what we can do. Uh, start coming down from this end. Oh, I'm just gonna go out and shoot. Base is under attack. One of our walls is being destroyed. It's cool, so they're trying to attack me rather than all the walls. Base is under attack. All destroyed. Don't need to worry about the walls being destroyed too much. We've got triple layers on that bit. Base is under attack. Whoa! Why is that walk quite away? Destroyed. Base is under attack. There is a breach in our walls. Oh, they definitely are breaching now, aren't they? Base is under attack. Wall destroyed. This attack was a lot stronger. I don't know if we can hold out much longer. Wild animals don't behave like that. They shouldn't act like a sentient army. You will be going to an alien planet full of unknown life forms. Do not assume that you know what kind of dangers might be lurking there. Your primary objective is to survive. If something is trying to kill you, it doesn't Whoop. matter if it's sentient or not. Adapt or die. Warning. More enemies are heading towards our base. Going Things power. are escalating quickly. We have to gear up before the second wave hits our walls. Let's show them who they're dealing with. We out, Carbonium. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger, bugger. Um, so... Which one of these is which? Is that the power? Or the mine? Oh, looks like that could be the mine. Oh, look, missing a power connector here as well. Okay, that's kind of got power back to the turrets at least. Our armory's still a little bit. Low on the power. Um, oh, we've got carbonium. We've got a little bit. Can maybe try layering up some more of these walls. Yes, yeah, so I didn't get all the way around with the double layering, I don't think, did I? No. We didn't really attack. Oh, I don't know. You don't know what type direction they're going to attack this time, but do I?
that target less power now. More enemies are heading towards our base. Warning. Threat level maximum. I'm disabling all secondary systems and diverting all power to your guns. It's either us or them. So I'll just quickly sort this um, turret out. Base is under attack. Whoa, I should have all. Base is under attack. A tower has been destroyed. Wall destroyed. Base is under attack. One of our walls has been destroyed. Tower destroyed. Yo, look at them all. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. There is a breach in our walls. A building has been destroyed. Not doing bad to be kind of such a big group of them off, though. Tower destroyed. One of our so we're nipping past our turrets. That's it. A building has been destroyed. Get the turrets doing some of the job. Base is under attack. Oh no! Captain Novak, you weren't meant to survive this final attack wave. It should serve as a reminder that you should never You weren't meant to survive it, but I am surviving. Even if you think you are in control, ah, no, it's all going black. Session, no. You can start no. preparing for your trip to Galatea 37. Well, there we have it, I think. That was the prologue of Riftbreaker Smash to Pieces. That was really fun. I really like the playstyle of that game. I like the base building, I like the killing aliens. It feels a cross between like an RTS base builder and a tower defense game. And I'm a massive fan of tower defense games. So I really enjoyed that. Let us know what you think guys. If you enjoyed that, leave us a like, give us a subscribe, leave some comments. It'd be really nice to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.